Telly has gone through these ups and downs, but I think you hit the nail on the head. They want to be a beginner at something again. I think that they appreciate a new challenge. It is really rewarding to master that turn. So deep, man. <laughs> Can't get any speed. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to the Wasatch Backcountry. Dave Grissom here from Volley Manufacturing. I guess I could say what my title is at Volley. Let's see, it's not a head box loader, tape gun runner. Wearer of many hats. Do sales, marketing, customer service, IT, finance, whatever needs to be done. How long have you been at Volley? 24 years. Been a pretty crazy ride. Another great day in the Wasatch. <laughs> I think that a lot of this growth in Telemark has to do with people, I guess, just wanting to be a beginner at something and try something new. I guess I'm curious what your uh, perspective is on the uh, changing landscape of Telemark skiing and how people are getting into the sport and what the progression is once you get started. Telly has gone through these ups and downs, but I think you hit the nail on the head. If someone wants a new challenge, they want to be a beginner at something again. Hate to say you'd ever get bored of skiing, but uh, I think that they appreciate a new challenge. And like I was saying is, it is really rewarding to master that turn. You know, and I think you, after, you know, a little bit of frustration, but uh, I think that's where folks are at. What sort of kicked off the company? What kicked off Volley and our you know, start of innovation in Telemark? Volley's first product was the Volley Plate. And it was a mate to the light duty three pin bindings and uh, basically like tennis shoe boots. And it supported that for downhill performance. Wally, the uh, founder of Volley, when he was just going out on some skis that were loaned to him, he noticed right away that the heel was coming off, off the heel pad. He came up with that idea and he said, this is a great way to increase the performance of a th uh, light duty three pin binding and those light, light duty boots. That was how Vole was born. Then came the three pin and then came the three pin cable and then the release bindings, the CRB, hardwire, switchback X2 and here we are today with the TTS. Tell us a little bit about our manufacturing and how that plays into product development. Well, it's the ground you're standing on right now. We're so close to the testing ground. We can prototype in a matter of like three days and be on the snow. And then you can test it, you can make iterations on that, and you can go right back onto the snow. So we're blessed to be here in our backyard which is incredible. Why backcountry ski? Why lifts are so much easier. <laughs> you don't, you know, there's no work involved. Why come out and, uh, you know, suffer in the backcountry? Well, you guys have seen the lift lines these days and the traffic lines. So, I mean, you still got to get up early to get to the trailhead. You always want an early start. From my own point of view, it's just a great way to, it's the quality, not quantity. And the, you know, the fitness of it and, the solitude and some of the pristine turns like we've seen today. Even with the amount of folks out here today and the people can disperse in the Wasatch backcountry, at least in some areas, and it's great that you can you can find some on track lines. It's incredible. Go. All the skis that we're making are, are, you know, a lot of AT bindings are going on on a lot of Volley skis, but we're still believers and lovers of Telemark skiing. You're going to see in fall 23 a couple skis that are going to address Telemark binding mounting, uh, light skis, scale base skis, as well as the new TTS binding, but we're committed to Tele. It's our, it's our heritage for sure, and we've been in a long time. Thank you. 